Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and if you've been following along, we've been doing this journey across New Zealand. We uh, started in the north, and we went down south, and to the South Island, and uh, had an awesome time over there. And uh, on the last video, we left off um, in the South Island, and we were coming back north, and our ferry got canceled. So we had to leave our van down south, and fly back up to, to Auckland if you want to see the long uh, version of that it'll be on our uh, vlog channel tackling the world but anyways today we are out fishing we got Jocelyn she is dropping down some soft bait right now and we're with our good friend Chris and his brother Tom Cue it up. so we're just uh we'll see what we can get today hopefully some fish maybe we'll catch some snapper Hawaii, maybe a kingfish. Still looking for that kingy. Let's see. So we're out by Little Barrier Island, which is uh, called Te Hautoru o Toi, which means the resting place of gentle winds. So uh, it acts as a barrier towards the Hauraki Gulf in uh, Auckland, keeping away like storms and, well, most storms, not the most recent cyclone, but the island itself is uh, one of the most intact bird sanctuaries in the world. Um, New Zealand's got like amazing bird life which have been decimated by the introduced pests so rats, stoats, ferrets, rabbits, deer, pigs yeah. Um, but yeah so this is a wildlife sanctuary and you can't set foot on the island unless you're a dock ranger um, yeah and it looks pretty beautiful and it's a pretty sweet place to be so sweet yeah that's pretty awesome man so there should be some kiwis on there then definitely some kiwis <laughs> a lot of uh tuis bellbirds see yeah no dodo oh they're gone they're gone yeah completely <laughs> sweet all right catch us some fish man <laughs> got a sweet got a nice soft bait too well if they people went on the island they're gonna bring pests Accidentally, you know, <clears throat> I've always got a couple of rats on my person. As well. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so you have, in your in your backpack, yeah. probably constantly got a few rats. So. <laughs> you don't want Chris anywhere around there. <laughs> don't, don't leave me on there. All right, guys, we actually did one drift and uh, nothing, no bites. I figure the fishing is going to be better once the tide turns in about an hour and an hour and a half. So while we do, while we wait, we're gonna go out for a little free diving session. Maybe grab some kinna, maybe a crayfish if we find some, and maybe shoot a fish as well. We'll see. So let's just get in there. Got my wetsuit on. I just have my three mil for today. Um, borrowing some. I left most of my dive gear back at the van in the South Island. So I just borrowed some stuff. Got some uh, fins here and jump in. Make sure to shoot a kingy for me. I'll try. Don't come back until you've got one. <laughs> I'll right, see if this mask works. I got to put my hood on. <laughs> it's freaking cold without the hood. There we go. Got a couple of kinna to start with. Woo. It's nice out here. Really calm. We jump here. And then Tom saw a kingfish right away. A giant big one. Just kind of swam past us. So they're around. Oh, that's really the darkest food I've ever seen. Let's taste it though. It tastes pretty good still, but pretty small. I wonder if they're all like that. 
it might be. We'll crack a few more open. Maybe these ones closer to the kelp. Might be bigger. I'll test this one open. a little better. Better color, better yield, just a little bit. Tastes better too. Oh, watch sweet. Really sweet. Let's test this one. That's actually on the kelp, eating kelp. So, hopefully it's better. Palm saw a crayfish down there. The kinna that's like actually attached to the kelp is a little better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whew. Really cool under that with all that kelp forest. They're like small, tiny, uni kelp forest. But those kelp, they don't grow very big. They're only like just a few feet. <laughs> cool. All right, just got back on the boat. Those kind of not great quality, but we still kept some of them. We still eat them. So tasty. And um, Dawson says she had a follow on the stick bait, uh, but it turned turned around midway through didn't commit to it but the tide is changing literally right now so the bite might pick up is that kingfish that's around you might be able to get them cross your fingers i'm trying to catch a live bait right now i got a sabiki on if we can get live bait that would be our best chance i just put a bait down on the bait runner and got a nice little snapper here Nothing too crazy. Not exciting after you got the big one, huh? I know. <laughs> after I got that giant one. This is nothing. What do you think? Good eating size. Yeah, it's e good eating size. Eater size. Yeah. <laughs> keep them. Alright, we just changed locations here. We can get, uh, get something here. Tom's jumping back in. Check if there's any kingfish around. There's a ton of, uh, there's a ton of snapper right here. Uh, I'm not sure. It's getting a little cold, to be honest. It's getting a little chilly with my three mil. Oh, oh yeah, 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 nice. Oh. Yeah, that's cool fish right where Dawson cast it. Dawson's really, really determined to try to get a kingfish now because she had a follow. And that was pretty good. That must have been a lot of bait there. Out there. Oh, 
I just hit a fish. Really? <laughs> yeah, a little one is just went flying. <laughs> nice. Fish is on something. Nice snapper. Uh, a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Maybe there was something else on that as well. But... Oh yeah, it was just swapped, right? It just swapped places is all, that's all. <laughs> you know, you're, you're like, oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow, that's a monster. Look, look at the size of that. <laughs> look at that. It's like it's mine. <laughs> All right, I was gonna head back in here. Chris got a nice one now. This a, this time it's better. Yeah, that's a Amazing. keeper. I like hey. the slider, right? Yeah, that's a better one. That's a good eater. Let's get that hook out of you. Thank you, mate. Come on out. Let's see it. Nice. Good nice size. Nice one, yeah. We'll make sure that that's the legal limit and then we will Chuck it in the chili. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's legal for sure. Got out of the water, heading back, but we're starting to see some bait boiling, so gonna try to catch the cast at it. Hopefully, John can get it. Where? We just got back to shore and I thought we were gonna get one at that last second there we trolled through this little uh, boil probably uh, kingfish uh, but not didn't hit nothing hit it so uh, no kingfish yet again man you might be elusive cursed. elusive uh, anyways we have we got red snapper and we got uh, kinna as well even though the quality of the kinna is not great but we'll still eat it Let's just go uh, make some food now. Kingfish aren't really supposed to be all that elusive here in New Zealand, but they've been completely eluding me. And it's been tough for me. Um, Tom did actually end up getting a good shot at one, and it was a big one too, he said. And it, it, it dove down about 50 feet, wrapped him up around some rocks, and it came off. Uh, so unfortunately didn't get to land it. Yeah, and he usually says you can get at least uh, one or two a good shot at a couple of them, but not 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 this time um, Hopefully next time. Well right now we're back at Chris's house and we got Daisy here as well super cute lab mix and uh, We got some snapper still so let's just cook up some snapper I want to do like a Thai style grilled snapper and along with that, we'll make some papaya salad and maybe some sticky rice as well. So, yeah, let's get to it. First, we'll make the little outer coating for the grilled snapper. And all you need to do for that, we're going to take 
some flour, just a tiny bit, like a spoon, and about a cup of salt and a little water. Mix all that together and just gonna coat the entire fish with it. Just add a little water, make it a kind of a, a slush, a slurry. Something like that right there. Then we take our fish, and we just cover the whole entire thing with it. Basically just this light salt crust that keeps the moisture in and makes the meat really nice and juicy, succulent. Alright, I couldn't find any lemongrass, but I found this. This is a uh, garlic shoots. So normally with the lemongrass, you can just stuff it in. I'm going to do the same thing, but with this garlic shoots. Should be really tasty still. Just open your mouth and just stuff this right in here. So if you have lemongrass, you can do it just like this. There we go. There we go. Just like that. And we'll do it the same thing with all three. Now we're going to heat up the grill. While we do that, let's get our papaya salad going. I got two greenish papayas. So we'll, we got that and also have some fish sauce, some crab paste, uh, limes, tomatoes, cilantro, and green onion. And we're just going to combine all that together uh, and make a papaya salad. Although I don't have a mortar and pestle, if you can crush it up, that's probably, that is definitely the best way to do it. We don't have one, so that's all right. Oh yeah, did I mention chilies? Make sure you get, you're going to need some chilies for this. Thai chilies, if you can get it, I think this is the closest I found. This looks like a Thai chili. Start with these chilies. These chilies smell spicy. Taste one? Oh yeah, these are spicy. So I added how many ever chilies you would like. I would recommend two to four. Not so green papaya. A little bit on the riper side, but this would be really tasty. Just to give it a little bit of sweetness. You just chop it like this. Give it a nice chip, chop, chip, chop. And they'll either start coming off already. Take your bowl and you can just peel this. And if you use the peeler again, You'll be able to get nice thin slices. You can do that or you can use your knife still. Like this. You actually like the knife better. This one's a little greener. Of tomatoes, cut it into eight slices, eight pieces at least, maybe a little smaller. Ideally, you would just smash everything together, but we don't have a smasher. Let's squeeze these limes in. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Keep few of these smaller limes just right into the bowl. We're just going to add some of this crab paste in here. Let me just give it a little taste. Mm, taste tastes good. Nice big spoonful. And some fish sauce as well. Always fish sauce. One spoon. Two spoons, that should be good. And we'll go ahead and mix this up. And honestly, it doesn't really look too appetizing, this papaya salad, because uh, the papaya is a little too ripe. And uh, making it kind of look not all that good. But I'm just gonna smash it anyways. I bet it'll still taste good. 
Yep. Just gonna add some green onions in there, as well as some cilantro. Cilantro, we'll just tear it. Just like that. And that's it, we'll call it papaya salad. <laughs> Orange papaya salad. It's a little watery. <laughs> oh boy. It's all right, it tastes good still. Now we'll put the fish on the grill and get it cooking. All right, fish is going on. This should take a total of about 30 minutes. So like a medium, medium, low heat. Now let's make the sauce for the fish. Got some ginger, got uh, chilies, garlic, limes, and sugar, and fish sauce. This is also better if you have a mortar and pestle, you can just smash it all together. But in my case, if you don't have one, we'll just uh, chop everything really small. Ginger, in, garlic. Garlic, in. Make sure to wash your hands before you go to the bathroom. Pro tip, speaking from experience. Chilies, in. Lime juice, in. One spoon of sugar, in. Ton of fish sauce. Mix that up, try to smash everything together. Finish it off with a little bit of scallions and cilantro. Beautiful. Looking good. And it smells so good. This garlic uh, shoots. Dang, it's so, mm, so garlicky. All right, I think these guys are ready. Super juicy eyeball still. Maybe I'll leave this one. It was kind of at the lower heat. I'll leave that one a little longer. This one in the middle. Is the smallest one should be ready all right guys here it is we got some thai style grilled snapper and papaya salad i also made some sticky rice um, and we have this delicious sauce to go along with the fish we got chris and his family so we're going to make a plate for everybody first let's cut into the snapper see how it looks so we're just going to cut the skin first and we'll peel off the whole skin there you go look at that oh, look at how succulent this meat is it's so juicy look at that basically take this whole entire skin off the skin's going to be a little too salty to eat but if you like that you can feel free to eat it <laughs> we got we should have plenty of fish for the five of us and this the garlic shoots came out really nice too. Like they're really tasty. So I'll just plop that on the plate as well. And papaya salad. Steamed sticky rice. There we go. All right. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, cheers. <laughs> cheers. This sauce is 
for it too for the fish and you can put it on anything that, really what sauce is that it's kind of like a fish sauce garlicky ginger oh, okay. uh, a little spicy all right let's try the snapper oh yeah it's delicious mm. this is like garlic shoots it's really garlicky mm. Mm. i cooked it with the fish like you can see you just stuff it in through the mouth mm -hmm. Wow, that, that sauce, sauce is delicious. Is yeah. Mm. Yeah, the Thai sauce is always good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And then with the sticky rice, just dip it in the sauce, get a little fish. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's so flavorful. Well, anyways, we take off to Japan tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, but our New Zealand adventures is not over yet. From Japan, we're gonna be right back to New Zealand again. Just picking up where we left off, picking up the van from the South Island, gonna drive back in the winter over here. Anyways, thanks for joining us today and watching another episode. Uh, we'll catch you uh, in Japan. See you next time. Peace. Oh, I got him. Grind him. <laughs>